Story goes as the lion, the snake, a rat, and a hariko. Once a man saw in his dream that a lion was chasing him. The man ran to a tree, climbed onto it and sat on a branch. Because the lion can't climb up the tree. He looked down and saw the lion was still there waiting for him. The man then looked to his side where the branch he was sitting on was attached to the tree and saw that two rats were circling around and eating the branch. One rat was black and the other was white. The branch would fall on the ground very soon. The man then looked below again with fear and discovered that a big black snake had come and settled directly under him. All in a dream. The snake opened its mouth right under the man so that he would fall in. The man then looked up to see if there was anything that he could go, that he could hold on to. He saw another branch with a honeycomb. Drops of honey were falling from me. The man wanted to taste one of the drops. So he put his tongue out and tasted one of the fallen drops of honey. The honey was amazing in taste. So he wanted to taste another drop. As he did, he got lost into the sweetness of the honey. He forgot about the two rats eating the branch away, the lion on the ground and the snake that is sitting right under him. After a while, he woke up from his sleep. To get the meaning behind this dream, the man went to a pious scholar to inquire what is this dream all about. The scholar said to him, the lion you saw is your death chasing you. Your death. You can't run away from it. It's behind you, in front, everywhere. It's death. It always chases you and goes wherever you go. Every day is one day shorter of your life. Death is coming closer. The two reds, the one black and the one white, are the night and the day. The black one is the night and the white one is the day. They circle around, coming one after the other to eat your time as they take you closer to your death. The big black snake with a dark mouth is your grave. It's there just waiting for you to fall into it. The honeycomb is this world and the sweet honey is the luxuries of this world. We like to taste the drop of the luxuries of this world. It's very sweet. Then we taste another and yet another. Meanwhile, we get lost in it and we forget about our time. We forget about our death and we forget about our graves. We are too engrossed in this worldly life. A humble request, go home tonight, open Surah Takathur, Alhaakum Takathur, Hatta Dhurtumul Maqabir.
Beware that worldly gain does not take you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the surah goes on. It says that you will see reality when you reach the grave. Be too late. Then you will see what is the truth. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said is the truth. But there will be no more time left for you. The advice we give you, if you take it, you will be winners. The choice is yours. Whatever you do, the choice is yours. If you go Allah's road, you will be a winner. If you go Shaitan's road, you will be a loser. May the Almighty Allah wake us from the sleep that we are in and save us before it's too late. May the Almighty Allah guide us on the path of Ihdin as Sirat al Mustaqeem. May Allah guide us on the path of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may He give us the death with the Kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين